I recently picked up this table in a charity shop and I absolutely fell in love with the style of it. I love the legs. I think it's going to go really beautifully in my kitchen when it's done and dusted and we know that a kitchen table is kind of the hub of the home and everyone ends up congregating around it. But the top, tabletop section is actually in a bit of a state. There's some paint scuffs on here and there was a great big crack down the middle that's probably half a centimetre in some sections and even as wide as a centimetre in other parts. So I'm going to use today this white wood grain effect DC fix, which again I think will go really nicely with all the units that I've already got in here and help me just upcycle it so that it goes still really nicely with the legs of the table. So what I did was yesterday I filled this with filler um, just so I've allowed it to dry so that the table now is ready to be have the plastic stuck onto. And then I've just used a sanding block and I'll just finish that now to make sure that that's completely smooth. And then in terms of the rest of equipment, the equipment that you'll need for this, we've just got the DC Fix application kit. So I've got a smoother that you can just use to make sure you get out all of the bubbles and a scalpel to cut around the edge and make sure you get a nice flush finish on all of the corners and things. Then I've just got some scissors to trim off the excess from the roll. And now what I'm gonna do is clean the surface of the table. I've just got some wipes and kitchen cloth, but you can use whatever you might have hanging around, whether that's a kitchen spray or a sponge or something. And I need to make sure that the surface is completely clean so that the DC Fix will adhere Probably. and then just drying it off so again it's ready to have plastic stuck onto it so the roll itself I'm going to wrap all the way around the edge of the table there is the option if you wanted to you could use the scalpel to trim it so it just sits purely on the table top so just rolling that over and checking that I've got enough overhang to wrap underneath the underside it's also worth noting I'm using a wood grain effect and this has got a directional grain going across it. So maybe if you were using something that had a motif or something like that, it wouldn't be as important, but just do check if it's something that needs to be traveling in the right direction, just confirm that you have got it going the right way. So what I'm going to do with this, as I said, is I'm going to completely wrap it over the edge. This is a, an almost straight edge, but if you had a beveled or a, almost like a lip that had more of a curve to it, what you could do is use a hairdryer just to help that mould around it, which does make the sticky back plastic a bit more pliable. It just makes it have a little bit more give, so you can stretch it right around the um, a curved surface. But this is pretty much straight, so I should be okay just snipping in and wrapping it around. So what I need to do now is just check that I've got enough overhang on either side to wrap that around which I do, and obviously I want to try and get the wood grain straight so it's, it's not sort of veering off to one side as we um, roll this back across the table. So I'm going to use my smoother now to start pulling back the backing paper and adhering the plastic onto the top of the table. So you can just use the felt covered side, this is nice and soft and it just helps you to get rid of any bubbles or ridges that you might have as you pull the backing paper away from the sticky back plastic. You just use the smoother to push any bubbles right to the edge and then that allows the air to escape. So if you've got one right in the middle, you just kind of go to whichever side is nearer um, and just come down to eye level. So sometimes you can spot a bubble that you might not have seen otherwise. So now what I'm going to do is wrap around the edges and you have to just snip in so that you can wrap the um, edge right around so it's nice and a nice professional touch. You don't want it all scruffy on the edges. So I'm going to start with this corner around here and I'm just going to use my scissors to trim in. And then again, using the smoother or your thumb, you just need to get that nice and flat on one side and you can wrap that around and then the second side you wrap around and then just use the scalpel to trim off the excess. So that's it, job done. I completed those other three corners and that's all spick and span. I absolutely love this white wood grain effect. I think it goes really beautifully with the kitchen and kind of ties in with some of the accessories that we already had in here. I'm really, really pleased that we've managed to upcycle that from a scruffy old table to what I think is now a very nice piece of furniture.